Like most people this year, I haven't seen very much of my grandmother, who is 87. And she's never particularly been one for poetry, but this, uh, which I shared with her a few years ago, is her favourite poem, and it's something, therefore, that we both have in common. It was written by the Scottish poet Marion Angus. I say Scottish, but she was born in Sunderland in England in 1865. But she spent most of her life in the northeast of Scotland. And she wrote this poem in 1929. It's part of her poetry collection, quite charmingly called The Singing Lass. And the poem is called Hogmanay. Hogmanay in Scotland is a bit of a strange time where the past, the future and the present converge and all sorts of strange things can happen and you see this in the poem where the protagonist meets her past self. Hogmanay in Scotland has been described as bigger than Christmas which is fairly accurate. Um, all sorts of things go on so you might greet the new year by opening all your windows and banging on some pots and pans to see out the old one. Um, you may first foot your neighbours, so after 12 you can knock on their door and come in, but if you do that, you have to have dark hair, otherwise you are bringing them bad luck. So there are all sorts of things about Hogmanay. But anyway, on with the poem. And I should say that I, while I'm from Scotland, I'm not from the northeast of Scotland, so you'll have to forgive my accent with this one. Hogmanay. Why knocks at my door this Hogmanay? A canny young lassie, limber and gay. Lips o' mine, in o' mine. Come ben, come ben, though your deed lang sign. Why he you tint your Sabbath shoon? The fiddles is tuned. And a the tune is kissing and curtain and dancing fay to the screech o' the reels on Hogmanay. When the stars blow out and the moon grows wan, it's o'er the hills we are born a young man, where the flower o' love springs thorny and sweet, and though an old wifey mon a while greet, you'll lay gang limber and licht and free. Canny bit lassie, that Jens was me.